What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Iron Banner rewards from last week on all three of my characters. So last week was the second Iron Banner event of year two and there was a lot of changes this time around. So the main change was the change in game mode. We saw Clash this time around as the game mode for Iron Banner instead of Control and there were a lot of varying opinions over the week in the community on Clash as the game mode. Some people liked it, some people disliked it. And the main thing that I saw is that Clash made it a lot easier for solo players to go in there and jump in Iron Banner. So when it was control as the game mode and you jumped in solo, it was kind of hard to compete against fire teams of people because there were objectives in control. And you kind of got to coordinate with your teammates to control parts of the map. And that's why it made it a lot more team based. But with Clash, since it was just team deathmatch, it did make it a lot easier to win games and earn reputation if you were playing by yourself. So that was the main thing that I saw with the game mode being clashed this time around. But the biggest change that I did like about this Iron Banner was the fact that the rewards were a lot better than the previous ones in the past. Even in year one, I thought none of the events before this were as good as this Iron Banner. So this time around it seemed like a lot of people were earning more drops at the end of the matches which was very good and something that we always wanted just for playing and then the even better thing was the earning of packages after you hit rank 3 and rank 5 so that was really good I enjoyed that a lot especially because the rank 5 package guaranteed you pretty much a raid level piece of gear or weapon so that was really good in that at least we got a chance at getting something equivalent to what we can get in the raid something we can get from trials and stuff like that so I really enjoyed that and I think that was a really good step in the right direction for this Iron Banner and for ones going forward and it was pretty good so I'm gonna get into my package rewards from all three of my characters starting off with my first character on my hunter for the rank 3 package you're guaranteed the same thing on all your characters you're guaranteed a 310 rare artifact along with four motes and four strange coins so it's pretty good it is a lot easier to do instead of the taken war quest that gives you your 310 legendary artifact so if you haven't done that on all your characters and Iron Banner comes around next time, I would suggest doing this and getting to rank 3 for whichever characters you need a 310 artifact on because it's a lot easier to do this because you just have to play to get to rank 3 instead. And then going into the rank 5 package on my Hunter, you're guaranteed a 310 Ghost Shell from this and I also got the Daedrus' Retort which is the new year 2 Iron Banner shotgun. It came in at 311 which was kind of low. It looks exactly like Felwinter's Lie except the perks on mine weren't the greatest. I got Crowd Control and Danger Close. Um, maybe it would have been a little bit better for my stats if I got something like Range Finder or Rifled Barrel down the middle column. Probably would have helped it out a little bit but I did compare it to some of the other shotguns like Conspiracy Theory and it still had a little bit less impact so I don't know if it can match what the Felwinter did in year 1. And then going into my next character on my Warlock for the rank 5 package I was able to get the Iron Wreath D sidearm that he sold on the first week and the Ghost Show as well and my Iron Wreath D came in at 320 so that was pretty amazing. It came with Zen Moment and Outlaws the perks and there were no extended range perks or a range finder on it, which I think would be really good on a sidearm. But if I do not end up using it, at least I can use it to infuse into something else, which is pretty good. So 320, I was really happy about that reward right there. And then finally, for my last character for the rank 5 package on my Titan, we were able to get ourselves... The Iron Shell as well as Strange Coins and Motes of Light and nothing else popped up and I think there was a little bit of a bug with this and a lot of people were saying that they were getting their rewards in uh, Orbit. So once they went back to Orbit they were getting some of their rewards and so that's what I went ahead and did. And then so upon going back to Orbit I was able to get the Iron Companion Greaves for my Titan. So I was able to get the boots once again. He actually sold that on week one as well. And mine came in at 317 with intellect and strength. So not bad. Intellect and strength is not really the greatest for Titan. I would have preferred discipline instead of strength. But uh, still not bad. 317 is actually higher than any of my raid drops. So that definitely was a benefit there. So 
that was pretty good. So I'm also going to show you guys some of my rewards that I got as drops as well. So this time around, there was a lot more legendaries that were dropping at the end of the matches. I ended up getting a couple of the hand cannons, the Finalis Peril. Uh, one of mine came with Icarus and Triple Tap. And uh, the other one I got came with Third Eye and Outlaw. So pretty good stuff, not bad. Uh, this hand cannon looks a little bit similar to Timmer's Lash. It actually looks very similar. And uh, the base stats are kind of similar. I think Timmer's Lash had a little bit more impact than this one. But uh, I, I want to try it out. It looks pretty cool as well. So I'm probably going to use one of those. I also got the machine gun, the Bretel March stand, really good base stats, pretty much similar to the Jolder's Hammer from year one. And uh, my perks weren't the greatest. It came with Last Resort and Hip Fire, which aren't the best perks. I actually wanted to buy the one from the vendor, but I forgot to buy it before he left. Uh, so that was kind of unfortunate. Hopefully, I get better perks on my machine gun in the future. And then we also got some armor pieces. I got a couple chest pieces into like discipline I got some gauntlets um, I didn't get one for my hunter but I got one for my titan and my warlock I believe and then um, yeah I think that's I think that's about it for my drops from iron banner so pretty good stuff I didn't get a ghost shell I only got the ghost shells from the rank 5 package I didn't get any uh, higher ghost shells I saw people dropping or getting like high level ghost drops from just playing games I actually was in a game where someone got a 320 ghost shell from the end of match reward so that was really lucky for him and it was pretty cool you could get some high level drops in your ghosts and stuff like that as well so pretty good stuff for this iron banner I think it was a lot better in terms of the reward system uh, we definitely got rewarded gear that did benefit us and it seemed a lot better than at least uh, last Iron Banners. And even playing the raid recently, like, the raid doesn't even guarantee you some hard mode drops sometimes on all the checkpoints. So sometimes the raid can feel discouraging because of that. And I think Iron Banner kind of was a good replacement for um, getting better loot since it kind of guaranteed that high level drop at minimum just for reaching rank 5 with each of your characters so that was really good so that's about it for this week thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos got some more videos coming soon especially we got more content coming with challenge mode and stuff like that as well being announced and coming real soon within the next couple weeks probably uh, so yeah so that's something to look forward to thank you guys for watching once again and I'll catch you guys next time peace